What's up, YouTube? Welcome to Young Butt Refrigeration. And if you tune it in, consider hitting that subscribe button, like, and comment down below. And also share this with your friends, family, or whoever are in this trade or just want to know about their ACs uh, units. Um, Y'all just come over, just 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 pass the knowledge. But anyway, I'm working on three AC units. I'm doing preventative maintenance, so I'm gonna show y'all what I do as a technician. I am so excited to share this with y'all, and I'm glad I was able to get some videos for y'all. So let's get into it. Stay throughout. All right, guys. So we got one unit here. We got one unit over there, and we got one on the other side, right there. Um, also, I got to change the air filters too. So what I'm going to do, what I usually do is kill the power to the unit, uh, take the panels off, uh, check my pants, make sure everything's dry. Uh-oh. Blow this drain line out, make sure everything's clear. Get a cup of water, put it down, make sure it's trickling outside. <clears throat> Be careful too on these floors. <clears throat> but I'm gonna do the same process over here too. So it's not gonna be bad at all. So you got return air coming in through that way, and then you got air supplying each uh, room. And that's where the filter is gonna be at, what we have to replace. <clears throat> But we've periodically been doing maintenance on this, uh, about these units, so everything pretty much clear, but I'm just make sure again. And we have to go through ceiling tile too, which sucks, but hey. <laughs> so I'm gonna get this apart and go from there. And also, uh, I like to leak check go back and leak check just in case um like i say you'll never know but uh let's get started all right guys so what i like to uh, usually do is just check my connection and stuff make sure everything is nice and tight so i'm gonna check all them connections make sure everything nice and tight and here i gotta make sure all this cleaned up right here because over time even when it starts sweating stuff I can go down the drain, the algae and all that can get worse. You can end up stopping that. Also like to check the blue wheel, probably to clean it up a little bit. Make sure everything good. All right guys, so this is your evaporator cool. Filter, like I said, this is a return side. The air is gonna come from the space, come through this coil, heat gonna be removed, and the cool air is just gonna go to the supply side, which is for other rooms and all. But this is the A coil right here. I think it's aluminum. Yeah, look like it's aluminum. So guys, with the indoor unit, which is right here that I'm looking at, I typically make sure the drain pans and all that is nice and clear. I will vacuum it if I see any water or debris. Then I will clear out the drains, making sure everything is uh, flowing correctly. I will check all my connections, electrical. I make sure everything nice and snug. I will check my blower motor, make sure everything's spinning and my connections are good. Just making sure everything is nice and tidy like it's supposed to be uh, from factory. Uh, Y'all going to see in a bit on me working on the third unit, which is smaller. So I end up cleaning up this unit. It did have debris and all that. But just make sure everything is nice and clean. You do not want no debris in the pan. Cause like I said, over time, it can stop up your drain. Then water can go back and it could just be a hot mess. After cleaning all the three indoor units in the attic, make sure all your filters are changed. That's what I end up doing, changing these filters. 
uh the original filters wasn't even that bad but we still change it regardless so just make sure your filters change and make sure you have the correct ones all right guys so i'm now cleaning out the condensers i had to rinse these off these two right here gotta do that one um gotta check my pressures check my pressures check my electrical and all that make sure everything nice and good uh, look at fan blade, make sure no cracks or anything. Check brackets, make sure we don't have anything uh, going on. And I don't see nothing really. Spent the blade and stuff around, everything is working and looking fine. But I'm gonna wash these coils and then check these operations and then go from there. Anyway, I got some coil cleaner. Usually I would take this whole thing off but this will work uh a-okay i watched this about three four months so ago probably three like i said they get a uh, periodic um maintenance check so i took them apart before this ain't that bad we got some good coil cleaner right here Make sure you get the whole surface. All right, guys, so I sprayed inside the coil too, so I'm gonna wash it in here and on the outside. So I'm gonna go from there. Right, guys for each unit i'm gonna check each capacitor uh also use nitrogen to blow like dust spider webs and all debris out the way and i'm gonna tighten up these connections on here just to make sure everything nice and tight and uh that will be pretty much uh it uh, i'm gonna go back in uh check the air supply temps um i got this one in cooling mode but i didn't uh, uh, watch that when I went kind of threw me off because I'm like why in the hell did just a fan motor running and all but it's, it's weird but inside it was off at a thermostat so I ended up putting on cool mode and my pressures uh uh and range and all that compressor and all that running so so I, I'm gonna check operations uh for cooling and heating just to make sure everything is running fine for each unit uh that one is running fine this one control this back room this one control like the hall and the waiting room this one control like the offices and all that so um it ain't uh it ain't bad at all um yeah that's just like you know a basic pm um make it, the indoor coils you just making sure everything nice and clean drains cleared blower motor spinning connections and all that tight um everything nice and tight um changing the filters outside you washing the condensers checking your capacitors checking connections uh checking amp draw and all that if you want to get more technical you can check amp draw all of the compressors check superheat everything i did about all that but now i'm just checking all this little stuff now just make sure everything good check for leaks do a leak check I already did leak check inside the indoor units don't have no leaks at all and i might just leak check out the out these outdoor units and that should be uh pretty much it <clears throat> but these are a goodman uh unit um usually units will la uh, last a long time if you constantly doing maintenance on it it could last a long time honestly but if you ain't doing no maintenance on your unit yeah but anyway I might check this capacitor as you see it was like back in 2020 so i'm just checking make sure it's in rating and i uh, just go from there